Hi right, guys, and welcome to Classic uh, TV Facts and Trivia. Today's video is on Larry Matthews of uh, Big Man Dyke Show. He was Little Richie, I believe that's his name. <coughs> Excuse me, yes. And he spoke on sneaking cigarettes, Dick Van Dyke, and sharing a birthday with Rose Marie. Old Richie was a common uh, response of an overprotective Laura Petrie, played by Mary Tyler Moore, to her adorable son, played then by a six-year-old Larry Matthews, on the Dick Van Dyke show. Matthews, who turned 69 on the 15th of this month, loved and learned a lot from his iconic TV family. Look at the people I had around me basically grow up with. Dick Van Dyke, Mary Tyler Moore, Carl Reiner, Sheldon Leonard, John Rich, or director Jerry Paris. I mean, all these people were iconic, and Maury Amsterdam, for heaven's sakes. They were all geniuses in their field. Matthews reflects uh, when we chat with when they chatted with him over the phone. Uh, as a kid, they're just people, friends, family, what you don't think about in the way. But uh, then as I grew older, started to grasp the situation. I still have to say to myself, that, that was real and it wasn't a big dream. <clears throat> Growing up in Burbank, Larry is one of seven children. He was number six, but there is a 14-year difference between the oldest and the youngest. The only sibling who showed any interest in acting, although his parents were musicians. There's that one in the family that has to be put out in front of everything and just getting attention, so I guess that was me. I don't know why, but anyway, I just love mimicking stuff I saw on TV. I would imitate Alvin the Chipmunk and all kinds of other stuff that would watch and do. Uh, Larry credits his local mailman for discovering his talents as he would watch him daily doing his annex. One day, the mailman approached Larry's mother and encouraged her to get him into acting, providing the name of a woman who taught acting lessons to children. My mom actually turned to me and said, look, would you like to do this? You can just pretend you're somebody else and act out being a different person. And I said, yeah, why not? Sounds like fun to me. What do I know? So I did. Eventually, they sent him for an interview with Carl Reiner, and the rest is history. Uh, Matthews was cast to play Richie Petrie on the Dick Van Dyke show opposite his TV parrots Dick Van Dyke and Mary Tyler Moore. There was actually a picture of Dick and Mary holding me one day when we were doing the warm-up before we started shooting. And being around him and having them to make, uh, to make me calm down and tell me it was part of what we do, <clears throat> that helped. Matthew shared about being a kid and calming his fears. Also, the fact that they kind of nurtured me and got me through the fact of having an audience in the time of comedy when you knew you were going to say something that was funny and you had to just wait for the audience. They all made it very easy and very comfortable. His closest friend on the set was Rose Murray, who played Sally Rogers. The two actually shared the same birthday, August the 15th, and often celebrated together. Rose and I were very, very close. Our family was very, very close. I mean, way after the show, we lived out near in uh, Van Nuys and we had the Italian connection going on and we just became very close, he shares. She truly was a very close aunt in terms of family. Her daughter, her husband, who unfortunately died during the middle of the show, but we were very close and remained very close to the end. And we would see each other here and there as she got older. Maybe not as often, but we would do things like appearances or autographs, reunion stuff. Right before Rose passed on December 28th of 2017, I was at the screening of her documentary, and she kind of came over and just gave me a big hug and a kiss. And she says, I just love you so much, and I've always loved you. And you're just such a special person, and I'm glad you came for this. And I'm so glad you've been in my life. And I repeated the same thing to her, obviously. And then she died a few months later, so that was a really special moment we got to share. With the birthdays every year, we would send each other birthday cards. After the sitcom, Matthews finished high school and went on to UCLA, eventually working behind the cameras on shows like Soap and Benson, which led to a career in post-production. Earlier this year, he reunited with Dick Van Dyke for his 98 Years of Magic TV celebration. There he ran into Dick's son as well. Barry Van Dyke reminded me about Kent Cigarettes, one of our sponsors, Matthews laughs. On a living room table in the Petri household was a cigarette holder, and they had filled it with Kent Cigarettes. Barry said, remember how we used to go steal the cigarettes and we would go out back and sit there and smoke and nobody knew? Just one of the many cherished moments he holds dear. Fans of Matthews can catch up with him and enjoy celebrity guided tours as part of the Great Oregon White, uh, Wine Tour of Willamette Valley. I'm a big wine guy, Matthew shares. He's also traveling to a few nostalgia events this year and will take part in the Kids of Desilu Studios event at Indian Wells Resort Hotel in Palm Springs on Sunday, September 8th, which is open to fans.
wow uh i like some of the pictures of you know where, where uh dick van dyke and mary tyler moore and him was all together in the later days and i love the ones with him and rosemary i just thought that was really cool all i got for you here guys i hope you enjoyed this please don't forget to subscribe if you have not yet please like this video because i said so god bless you and i'm praying for you